Good morning everyone. Today I am going to eat like naturally Stephanie. Um, Stephanie is a Scottish YouTuber. I'm not gonna piss off everyone in Scotland by trying to do a terrible rendition of her accent, um, but her accent is incredible. I've got it on week six of like this summer series that I've been um, not that consistent with. <laughs> once a week would be second to once a week. And but I thought it would be interesting to try and eat like she does. So I found her most recent What I Eat in a Day, which was from a few weeks ago. I say a few weeks ago, it's probably like a month ago now. And she doesn't eat like ridiculously different from me. She's vegan, which does automatically help. So yeah, let's let's make some lunch. Lunch? Breakfast. Why did I say lunch? I don't have any creatine so I can't use that and she also had some salted caramel syrup uh, the best I can do is this Huel flavour powder but I'm gonna go easy looks a bit decent looks lumpy Now, she makes the like weird whipped coffee thing to put on the top, so I'm gonna do that as well, even though I don't really want to. Then, so I need like a tablespoon of that. Splash of hot water. that's done let me tell you while i put this in why i'm getting all coffee snobbish about this weird whipped coffee stuff um firstly the tablespoon i think actually the recipe is two tablespoons two tablespoons of instant coffee is an insane amount of coffee to be drinking and that's whipped to go on top of your coffee oh my god i need to sort my life out um so yeah, firstly, I'm glad Steph only did one tablespoon of coffee because two tablespoons is insane. I don't drink instant coffee anyway. I only ever drink like actual ground coffee. Um, like a tablespoon of sugar is a lot of sugar. I just, the other thing that annoyed me, all the people on TikTok were doing it with a hand whisk. Why do none of you own an electric whisk? I mean, I own like a proper KitchenAid whisk, but for this amount of coffee, it just wasn't really worth it. Because I don't even think it would do this small quantity. Anyway, I'll stop bitching. <laughs> Say it in a Scottish accent. Breakfast. Breakfast. That sounds nothing like Stephanie, but it's the best I can do for you. Let's try it. No. Well. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the salted caramel like flavouring that's put me off. Maybe it's the almond milk. Not the biggest fan of that. Mm, I'll drink it. Maybe it'll get better when I drink more of it. Maybe I just need to mix it more. It's like weirdly, like really, really sweet and bitter at the same time. Mm. Right, let's do a bit more work and then I'm going to the gym. I did have to kind of wolf that down because I need to leave for the gym like now so see you in a bit so i am back from the gym and as i said i had my first uh personal training session which was so good so i'm gonna have lunch now uh so let me show you what i got 
bought a loaf of sourdough from Lidl. And the bread slices are a bit smaller than she did, so I might have to have like one and a half toasties or something like that. And then she said she did tofu cheese jalapenos. I don't actually really like jalapenos, but I've got the same brand of tofu as she has. Um, but what I have got is some uh, Tesco jalapeno and chili cheese slices. So it's gonna have the like jalapeno-ness. And then she had that with some salsa, I think it looked like from the plate. And she had a clear protein, which I have got. And I think she said four, four satsumas. So that's what I'm having. Let's get on with it. Hi. That toasty was actually a lot nicer than I was expecting it to be. Not that I was expecting it to be rubbish. So I've got my protein left, um, which I do agree with it. If you don't like protein powder, try the clear protein. Um, you still get a few lumps, but it's not like gritty or um, it's definitely a completely different texture to normal protein powder. So if you've been struggling to find a vegan protein powder that you like, I do recommend trying that. It's not as much protein per serving as your normal protein powder, but it's nice to mix it up every now and again. So we'll see you at dinner time. If this bread is already like that, I'm fine. And the other reason is I've been challenged. So I have all this pent up energy now with nowhere to put it, but inside my kitchen. So here we go. It looks pretty similar to hers. I did the teriyaki sauce, I did the garlic, um, put some lime juice on at the end. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. You're just gonna have to ignore that giant pile of clothes over there because I don't wanna deal with them. So, finished my day of eating like Steph. Um, one of the things I will say is that she did a really good job of like making actually quite simple food that does taste pretty good. I mean, I I think in that way we're quite similar in that I kind of like relatively plain food and I don't, like I like cooking and I like things to taste different but actually most of the time I'd be happy just eating the same thing over and over again. But I have worked out the macros and calories and stuff from today um, and when I was putting it when I was like writing down all the stuff I needed to buy I did think at the time like this doesn't seem like a lot of food um, and considering in the video she said she's trying to she's trying to bulk a little bit as well um, and she's a pretty fit girl she's she's quite like petite um, I think she said she weighs like eight stone eight and spoiler alert I'm like 14 stone so I'm almost twice the size of it um so her, her caloric needs are probably going to be a little bit less than mine but she's also a lot fitter than me so she I would expect her metabolism to be quite good um 
because in the end it works out as about 1700 calories which is you know roughly around what I'm trying to eat to be in a deficit but it's not a, it's certainly not a surplus for me and yeah wouldn't wouldn't really be a surplus for many people and I could eat like this most days there's a lot of tofu like my god I'd be spending 14 quid a week just on tofu <laughs> just on tofu I actually really also enjoyed the protein coffee after I think I needed to mix it more um, but once it was properly mixed in it was actually kind of like pretty decent so as like a small breakfast you are somebody who likes to eat later in the morning or as like a pre-workout meal because it's not it was quite small so not too much liquid um, it was really good I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Next week will be my final thoughts on my 30 days of intermittent fasting so make sure you join me for that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if any of the food I had today looked particularly good and I will see you next week. Hope you have a really lovely week.